So let's look at the formal specification of Lambda.js. The big novelty here is this is the slide that I showed you before where we are looking up fields in an object. But the only thing we were missing is that when we do a get, we actually want to do a lookup, kind of like how we do it in environment get. Environment get, we have to go through, if it's not in the object, we have to go through the link to the parent and see the parent environment and look up that field and, and do that until we reach eventually the root. And if it's not found, then you can throw an exception. Um, so this, the only thing that we need to update, so this is the three rules that explain the semantics of objects, which is essentially explaining how to manipulate a hash table with a, a small asterisk on looking up a field. Again, we have to look up the uh, underscore underscore proto field for links. So this is the new function lookup that we want to formalize. Um, and then the last thing that we want to look at is allocation. And all of this is just as you would expect the operations on heap, like we've learned in homework five. So if you do, if you are evaluating an expression, you should evaluate, uh, you should do a, an effectful allocation in the heap. Uh, so this is why it's in red. Uh, when you're evaluate dereferencing dereferencing um an e what that does is you have to e has to be a handle you has to evaluate down to a handle and then what you do with the handle is you perform a heap get so this is what this is supposed to be and then you should get the value associated with that that handle um, and then the next thing we want that i wanted to show is this rule for put which maps to what you have two expressions you have to evaluate the first one that will get you what a handle or a reference and then the second hand on the right hand side you evaluate that that gets you a value and then what you do you perform a heap put which is this rule so on the the key has to be what the reference or the handle and the value is an actual value um, and this is again the monadic monadic put that we've learned which is why it's in red. Um, and then we can even formalize the lookup function. And this is basically the lookup, how it's the, the same code that you will see in environment get if you look at it. Um, so what we do is we're defining a function in branches. So we're saying if um, the field is not in the object, which is saying here, but it does have a field proto, uh, then you look up, you perform a lookup on the parent. Um, and if you find it, which is this case, so if the field is in the object, then you do a lookup of that. Um, otherwise, if the field is not there and, and there is no proto, it, it means you reached a root object, right? Then the field is not in the object. What you have to do, just return on death. So the notation is explained here below. Uh, we say S not in O to, to correspond that uh, when I look up S, it equals to on def. So that's basically it. Otherwise, we say that the, the field is in the object. In the next video, we're going to cover homework assignment questions.